My name is Peter Msunga. I'm a lecturer in Navy Equipment Repair Engineering. So we have before us hydraulic motor, which is piston type. We want to work on it. Uh, we want to remove the cover so that we can check and also see how we can free it so that it starts rotating. It hasn't been rotating properly, but we shall remove the cover and the big secret, the secret which uh, is uh, helping to preload the whole assembly of uh, the motor. Uh, let's remove the cover. And this is uh, the top part. We have a big set clip here, which we shall remove. Talking about the purpose of uh, these uh, hydraulic motors. Hydraulic motors, the purpose is uh, to convert hydraulic energy into mechanical energy. So because of that, the hydraulic motors can be used to turn, for instance, the winch on the crane the winch where we connect the sling to lift the things is rotated by such type of hydraulic motors. Or hydrostatic uh, uh, wheels, those wheels which are on certain machines can be rotated by these motors. Instead of using mechanical means through the transmission, they can put a motor to just to rotate. Even on track type tractor, on the excavators, we can use it, hydraulic motors to turn the track chains. That's why uh, these motors are important in our heavy equipment repair engineering. Pliers and also other gadgets which can help us remove the set clip. Once the set clip is removed, then we shall now uh, remove uh, the preload, which is uh, causing the all pipe to be stiff. After that, we shall try by all means to lubricate it so that we free the components and as we assemble, then it will be able to turn freely. That's what we shall do. Okay, we shall proceed with the work. We have removed the retaining plate, which was here. The secret is removed already, which was on top. The plate, the returning plate has been removed. Now we will ex uh, expose the complete assembly inside, which is the piston pump assembly. Now we can have some, we have some clearances which can be seen. Uh, this clearance, what we shall do, we shall try to lubricate, we shall put some oil there and try to free the motor to remove, uh, to rotate it because of that clearance, then uh, it will be freed and uh, we can be able to ro rotate it. Some important precautions were before you start the motor. Ensure that your assembly uh, is proper, redone. Check the pipes. Ensure that the pipe from the hydraulic motor A comes is connected to this side. 
The other one is for B, because the motor will rotate clockwise and clockwise. So ensure that you connect them properly. And that will match even on the directional control valve. Then you have to ensure that they are uh, secured properly, because uh, if they are not uh, properly secured, you risk pipes ca coming out and uh, high pressure can affect you. So ensure that it's all secure. You check this side and this side, even on the motor side. That's uh, very important. Then if all is well, that's when you can now go and switch on the motor and operate the DCV. The other side. Our task was to run the motor, to operate the hydraulic motor. Now since we found it in a position where it could not rotate, we are now forced to repair it, remove the cover, and then ensure that it's freed, it's lubricated properly, uh, so that uh, it can now rotate freely, which we have achieved. After it was freed, lubricated properly, we fitted back the cover. Now we can see it run, and like it was before. Before that, it could not operate. Now the hydraulic motor, which is a rotary actuator, is now operating.